Okay, um... I guess I'll start with this set. I've only, I've only watched it one time, but I pretty much forget everything. <coughs> set, so... It was kind of, kind of, kind of interesting. I'm curious to see why that. Is uh, this a, what is, what's the volume for these things? Oh, thank you, FG Melee, for the sub. Started on it. At Gommel? Is, is this volume good? Yeah. Higher okay. or lower? Zach, like he's the only fox who How's this volume? On like. Every, yeah, if I get four more subs, I'll do two. Like, I'll do Plot Leffen yeah. after this. He, he wins. I mean, he, yeah, he's yeah. done that again, Music King, and uh. Oh, Plot Leffen, if I get four more subs. Counterpicks him. Yeah. At FD, so. Interesting. He does is this volume good? Like a little lower? Time. Yeah, literally every time. Yeah. How's this? I turn it down like 30%. Yeah, what? let's go. FOD to the start. The stats have what? proved me wrong. That's why you want me to turn it back and you're going to turn it down? <laughs> Not opinions. <laughs> well, they start about. Wait, wait, what? I want to make sure that the volume's good first. Oh, what what I do? I have to wait for this He really did. Oh, no, really no, did. <laughs> no joke. Let's go, Salem. Yeah. Punk almost won Evo. Oh, That's just too whoopsies. much black history. It's <laughs> not what I wanted to do. I have some do. terrible yeah. news. You have bug eyes. <laughs> <laughs> They're destroying the whole town. Tomo, that's not funny. Don't laugh at that. Stats. So it was kind of, kind of, kind of interesting. I'm curious. How's this volume, guys? When I when I watch them play. They started on it. Add analysis? Yeah. Okay. You're stupid. Zach, like, he's the only fox who, like, strikes on, like, ad block. FD, he thinks Do we ad block it? Is, like, amazing. Yeah. Nah. He, he wins. I still add analysis. I mean, he, yeah, he's done that again, Music King, and uh, it's fine. Oh, oh man. Uh, it's fine? Okay. Yeah, now it's good. FOD to the start. The stats have proved me wrong. <coughs> okay. That's why so, the stats. I'll just go <laughs> in this blind, I guess. <laughs> They start bouncing. All right, Marth Fox, man. You know, one of the classics. Zane, also the hometown hero. He's from here, dude. Yeah, he's the last MDVA person in the tournament. Yep. So they're definitely oh. gonna be behind the. Board. I've seen Zane do that a lot. Oh, they're definitely. Oh. He did that to yeah. Leffen a lot. Smash and splash. He just goes to the ledge and people aim at him and then yep. they die. Oh, so they're definitely oh. gonna be behind the board. That's uh, one of the big things this to look out man, for. It's a lot of a. Uh, so don't want to get they're definitely there. gonna be behind. Uh, that was just so unfortunate miss. The first down tilt, he yeah. thought he'd double jump so in. Because a lot of bad foxes do that, or just people just trying to attack right away. A the tournament? Yeah. Second so was just, they're definitely oh. gonna be he's just the spamming board. it instead of reacting. This match up, I think man, it's better it's to react. A lot, of, uh, a lot of dashing and a lot of grabs. A lot, a lot, a lot of grabs. Man. Definitely, definitely. Who, All right. Who? He did up through F smash. Uh, I think a lot of dashing and a lot of I'm not 100% sure, but I think he could have shined out of that, but... It wasn't a bad idea. The F smash pretty much covers all four tech options if he chooses to land on, uh, on there. So the F smash wasn't yeah, a bad a option, but I would not have walked that far. Like if you're gonna do the F smash and you know he's gonna land on the platform, a, a if F smash is what you're committed to, like let's say he, he he's committed to the F smash, he should not be walking. He he has enough time to just C stick and cover all four tech options. But he walks over here and that's bad. So Zane should not be walking that far. <laughs> Oh, by the way, I usually look at if this is I. It's easier for me to look at it through a Marf and Sheik perspective. So I, pretty much, gonna look at stuff that I could uh, uh, do better. Okay, I'll turn off the audio. No, no, no. Okay, no. I don't approve of that. All right, he got a dash dance grab. Uh, sloppy neutral on, on both ends, but he got the death dance grab right here. Th that fair was good, but he could have done multiple other things. He could have went for a down air, or a ke another Ken combo, or a tipper F smash, or a down tilt. He could have done any of those things, and then either killed him immediately, or put him in a really bad spot. So right here he does F down tilt. Now all Marf ha has to do is dash off the stage with without fast falling, just fall a bit, Fast falling is optional, or, rea or reactionary, and then you do a double jump fair on the Firefox. What he does instead is he wastes all this time turning around, grab Legend, and then he can't cover as many, since it, that, it, that wastes so many frames, he has less time to cover every single angle. He can't cover all the angles. And to make it worse, he actually missed the tipper. So, from this angle, I, f I'm not, I think a Marf's getup attack will guarantee that Fox can't make it back. 
But sometimes Fox is ridiculous, and Fox might barely make it on. So if you think Fox might barely make it on, or you're not sure, you can get up attack. Or if you're really, uh, you could also take a risk and just go down, drop down, press back from the ledge, then fast fall, and double jump back here, and tip all the angles. But he does the down air, which I don't really agree with that. I would have done get up attack, or maybe stand back on the stage and F smash all the options, or something like that. And he just does a, a Firefox angle. You can do like this kind of angle, or this kind of angle, and... Uh, those are, those are mix-ups to the straight uh, 45, which goes on stage. So those are a lot of things you could have improved on edge guarding. All right. That pivot up F smash, it's not necessary. Let me explain why. Um, pivot is a one-frame input, and I don't agree with it. I, I'm not a big supporter of pivoting because I, I don't really like the one-frame inputs. I don't find them consistent. He, by simply up-throwing and then holding forward on the C-stick, Marf would have buffered a walk forward, and you can still react to, like, if you don't want to walk, you can still react to the DI and, be able, and change your mind based off their DI. But just in case they do no DI here, you could have walked forward and then just hit the C-stick right and got the exact same outcome without having to hit a one-frame input. So the same exact thing, but way more consistent in this scenario. That was interesting. <coughs> that was bad spacing. He should have dashed away. <coughs> SFAT was just reacting. Because right here, SFAT had a lot of invincibility. So he, he, he just he, he read and or reacted correctly. And Zane read him going to the top platform. SFAT didn't DI off. Right here, SFAT should have did a running up smash. Standing up smash does not work on Marth. I don't know. That might have been a missed input, but this standing up smash, that works on Peach. It does not work on Marth. Yeah, see, this was correct. This is what I would have done. Uh, you up throw, and then you walk forward, and then you tip reverse tipper. And that's like, then you can mix up between forward airs and uh, you know, up airs after that, when you know that they're conditioned a certain way, or when you know they know. So right here, there's something I want to explain about Fox's illusion. You can actually react to the sound. So when Fox does an illusion, there's a sound that's like ching. And if you're wearing headphones and you have the volume loud, it's extremely easy to hear it, especially if you have noise canceling headphones. So when you hear the ching, you just uh, do the forward air and then, or double jump forward air, depending on the situation. Same with jabs or just any move. When you hear ching, then you do your action. So you, do, you swing your sword aft after you hear the ching sound. So right here, you jump off. I would have jumped a little lower. I would have did that full hop earlier, or I would have done a short hop, either or. I don't fully agree, but he made it work anyway. And then he, well, uh, ideally, I'm assuming, assuming he reacts to the ching. I don't know if this is the guess or reaction, but the optimal uh, uh, way to do this is to react. And uh, then you can react to the illusion, and then you do a forward air. You can do that on stage. You can do it off stage. You can do it from full hop. You can do it from short hop. Uh, there's many combinations, many ways to do that. Get up attack because he's not confident in ledge dashing. The same failed running up smash. This is just a bunch of like, this is just a bunch of sloppy neutral. Like, I feel like, okay, right here on Zane's end, he, he tech roll and then tried to do a show drop. I'm, I probably tried to show drop. He might have m meant to spot dodge, but I'm going to guess that that's a failed show drop, most likely. And this is just S fat, just. Random sloppy neutral. That was really good. Um, let me see here. It was slight indi. You could have also did a forward throw down to it, but yeah, it was slight indi. And then he he does no di there, and then it can combo. Yeah, that does that's, that's a very good uh, thing to copy there. Because even if he di's away, so if you di in that fair. If you DI in the fair, you're dead. And if you DI away, you're off stage. So no matter what, you're in a good position. So it's, it's not a bad option. Alternatively, yeah, that's the only option. Oh, no, the other option would have been like, OK, so right here, after the up tilt, see how he does Ken combo? So uh, let's say that the Fox is like, oh, I'll just DI away here, because he's obviously going to fair. The Marf's 50-50 mix up is he could have done a short hop up air, and then you, the Fox is DIing off stage already, and then you full hop down here. 
So by mixing up forward air and up air, you actually have a true 50-50 on the, on the extremes of DI. And he does a f he, d he attacks immediately if Nair and he runs under him. I'm not sure if this is a reaction or get no. Okay, that's a that's the autopilot down tilt. See, the thing is with this autopilot F throw down tilt. No matter what happens, even if Marf's completely wrong, uh, Marf doesn't risk anything, so it's not a bad option. And no, that no, don't do that. I've never decided what the best forward throw meta is. Like you could react to text, you could wait for text, you can use aerials, you can use down tilt, F smash, up tilt. Like there's so many things. I'm actually undecided what the optimal tech chasing is. I pretty much changed my mind every few months. I'm just explaining it. This is one of the routes, the down tilt. Mm, right here. Yeah, I got you could F smash or Ken combo. It's a fifty fifty on DI trap. No, you're no, you're stupid. What are you doing? Right here, I prob after I hit him off, I probably would have done either a short hop. No, I wouldn't have done a full hop there, unless I hard read uh, uh, up B. If I'm confident they're up B, I'll go after him. But if I'm not as confident, I'll usually either short hop here, uh, short hop on stage, or I will do a short hop off stage, and then I react to the sound. And if I hear no ching, then, that, then it must have done up B, and they're floating somewhere around here, and then I just hit them with a double jump fair anyway. So no matter what, I'm in a good spot. If I'm really defensive, I'll stay on stage. A little more confident, I'll jump off stage. You can either cover everything or almost everything with Marf pretty much all the time. It's just that everybody is bad at edge guarding. This is no, no. I'm, you, should, you should die and lose the match now. I know you win the match, but you should lose now. Fox's dare is really good against Marf at low damage because it combos to shine or grab. And even if you don't true combo to grab, there, it's not like Marf can shine you back anyway. Marf doesn't have a shine, so you don't need to be frame perfect with your drill grab. You can see the drill grab. You don't even need to be frame perfect because he's not going to shine you back. This is slop. That's all slop. Like right there, that, that neutral air would have comboed into a full, hop, a, a full hop back air afterwards. But SFAT's playing slow. But like, look, SFAT missed his L cancel here. Look. Ugh. This is just a bunch of slop. And see, SFAT's like playing actually pretty terrible. <laughs> look, drill, shine, miss the wave dash. This is unusually bad for him. Yeah, SFAT likes to hold the invincibility, so waiting here. Like, look, when you grab ledge, you have 37 frames. You have more than half a second of invincibility. You have plenty of time to react to what they do and take gambles that are heavily in your favor. And as Fat does that a lot here. So right here, he should have just upbeat on stage and just, just take the hit. You're That was so bad. Was that a missed L cancel? I think he did up air and missed the L cancel. Or is he a missed L cancel or just being laggy and slow? Anyway, after this up air, which I don't know why SFAT would even go for that shine. That's, that's a desperate shine. I don't know what you're doing. Um, I'm not, I don't think F, F smash would reach, but it might. Or you could jump off. Yeah, it's kind of close. Usually here I double jab because a lot of people like to smash that in and then air dodge. Uh, as for this counter, counter that you can avoid counter by going straight up, but uh, counter is completely safe unless you get unlucky. You see, when you counter, there's a bubble around you and it covers everything except your tiny little front toe. So there's a chance if you're really unlucky, the Firefox will go through the counter, and it's all luck. Like uh, from Marv's end, counter makes sense if you want to be safe. But then you could just aim at his toe at an angle, and sometimes you get lucky and hit his foot without touching the big bubble. Because when you counter, it's a big bubble that's beyond your entire body except your front toe at the beginning. So it's a luck-based thing. Now, as I could have avoided counter by going straight up, but you know he didn't. Uh, you could also sweet spot counter with a Firefox. 
You can actually sweet spot it, but everyone's really bad at that. Now right here, since Fox is at like 100, you can DI or smash DI up, and you can, right here, you 50-50 between up B versus side B. So if you want to cover both, you can run off the stage, react to the ching sound, and then C stick to do a forward air. That's the optimal option. Or you just edge hog and then react. So you either edge hog and react, or you run off and fair. Uh, basically, just know that it's a, right here, you could uh, mix up illusion and uh, up B. So it's basically a 50 50. So you, it's a 50 50 for up B or illusion from this spot, or Fox goes much lower in up B's. So in a way, it's a 50 50, and it's a, in a way, it's a 1 in 3 based off the way you're looking at it. Just know that those are the possible options here. And he, I think, was either nervous or just trying to hard read an, uh, an illusion. That's why F smash, even though you can just do it on reaction. And that's, uh, he killed himself. And that was extremely sloppy overall by S uh, Compared to his normal standard of play, I think that was quite a bit below it. Uh, right here, he tries to do a basic dash stand and grab. Like Zane did this earlier, he he tries to dash stand grab a fox at the edge. It's it's not a bad option. Um, it's a good mix up because if you get a grab, you might get a kill. Because you know down throws extremely down throw. Actually, all your throws are really good at the edge. And uh, as fat tries to hit if dare because dare is a good launcher. So that's pretty standard stuff by both players. Um, as fat got lucky because. Uh, he messed up his dash dance grab. So this is just a bunch of random slot. Yeah, as Fat's trying to hit him with a down air. It's it's a good it's a good style. Like hitting a down air is really good against uh Marf at low damage. No, that takes too long. I mean I guess I don't know. Right there, I probably would uh, if I knew I'm not hundred percent sure, but I think up tilt covers everything except roll to the left here. Uh, thank you, uh, Two Saints, for the sub. Don't quote me on this. I'm not 100% sure. But I think uh, up tilt, sorry. I think up tilt around here from up throw covers everything. If you like walk forward and standing in just the right spot, I think you can cover three options. But I'm not 100% sure. So I still need to, there's a lot I could do to get better myself. I'm still learning as I go. He's nervous, so he rolls in. Yeah, right there. I don't agree with that. You could just walk up throw, and while you're in the up throw animation, you're holding forward on the control stick already, just in case they DI back. Even if, no matter where they go, you still have like a million years to react with any move you want. Even if you want to shuffle up air, shuffle forward air, F smash, no matter what you want to do, there's no risk to just holding forward a bit, around 60%, to get a reverse tipper. And he does this one frame pivot F smash where he could have easily messed up. And he has. And many times he fought me, and when he was fighting me in tournament, I saw him trying to do tipper F smashes. Sometimes he'll get it, and other times he'll just mess up and get stuck in movement. There are times he could have a big punish, but he loses his advantage state because he goes for a one frame link. So yeah, I would have walked forward there. And then if you, if you, then you know obviously walk forward F smash. If you know they're gonna do it, you can di up and right here. But then by mixing up my short hop up air and forward airs, I can manipulate that di into a way I want, and then I can get quick kills. So if I know you're gonna di like up like up left, I could do like forward airs and up airs to make you di the way I want to. Like it, it's all a mix-up tree. I'm just explaining one one common easy option that marfs don't do enough. Um, yes, I am against pivots in that situation, uh, cosmic trash can, because there's no ne need for it. In a situation where you're fighting Marf vs. Jigglypuff, where it's the only way to get certain combos, yes, that's when pivots will be in handy. In this situation, you do not need a pivot. So yes, I am against it, because it is actually unnecessary. I'm not saying pivots are unnecessary, but in that situation, they are 100% unnecessary. And Marf's just spacing the fox out because S Fats keeps trying to down air him. And S Fats just playing really sloppy. Like, you could have just ledge dash on. He's like camping here. He could have gotten, he could have gotten, I could have down to F Smasher and killed him long ago just by gambling. And then he does a bit, yeah. This, this is a bunch of really sloppy ledge play. 
What are you doing? What was what was that? You're at 30%. And now you're dead. Good. Stupid. That's not a true combo, but if you don't crowds cancel it, I guess it can link. I, I don't know. I, I guess I'm just so used to people maneuvering mo around moves or crowds canceling that, yes, tip or fair to, to grab, yes, it can true combo, but you could just crowds cancel it and tank hits at low damage, so I don't know why he's just letting himself get hit by that. And the best guy in the universe. I think an edge hog would have just killed. I'm not, I'm like 80% sure an edge hog would have killed. He might have been able to live with us uh, up B, angled up. Like, he could have up B and maybe got onto that stage, but I think, yeah, I'm like 80% sure an Edgehog would have killed here. And let me, let's go back and look at the best DI in the universe. Right here, I'm in the middle of Dreamland. Which way should I go? Let's smash DI left or down left. Ugh. Look at where you're at. Double jump and up B. You're still in a magnifying glass. No, I, I'm pretty confident Edgehog would have just killed you. I know what he was going for here. Uh, SFAT was trying to smash the eye, like, smash the eye and up air, or smash the eye and up tilt. It, it, he was thinking that Marf would do anything but F smash, because that's, that's smash the eye. It's actually not bad if you think the Marf's going to do a forward air. That, that, it's the best DI for forward air. It's the best DI for up air, because both of those put you on a platform or put you around the ledge to ledge dash on. It's not bad for up to yeah. This actually, I can't, I can't hate hate on that too much. It was actually the best DI on everything except forward smash, but it's the absolute worst DI on forward smash. Yeah, I, okay. Looking at it again, I can't hate on it too much. It's just funny looking. And that was way too late. Look at this. Look, he see he grabbed that way before like. You should have did that F smash sooner. The the F smash lingers a bit too, so you, you could have definitely done that actually several frames sooner and been fine. Just so you know, if the fox does a, a straight Firefox perfectly, he goes under every Marth attack except down air, forward air under the stage, and edge hogs. So any any standard down tilt or F smash will miss if the fox does a perfect sweet spot with up B or side B. However, if the fox isn't perfect, you can just F smash him. Oh, yeah, by the way, F-Smash does go lower than down tilt, but not significantly. And S-Fat's leds game is really bad right now. Like, look, he's he's stuck here. He can't leds dash properly. And look, he's at 60. Hmm. So right here, when you up throw, uh, you can mix up forward smashes with mix... Okay, so there's like three things you can mix up here. You up throw, and then you can mix up forward smash. You can mix up short hop up airs, regardless of their DI. And you can mix up forward airs. So the three key things you have are at around this percent is up forward smash mixed with up air mixed with forward air. Here's what you shouldn't do. Try to look at him trying to pivot. He could have literally just hit, stood in place, and or held hold forward, and uh, just you know just in case he needed to walk forward. But since there's a platform there, he doesn't need to hold forward. So he could have just stood in place and did nothing and reacted. And then he saw him di, di behind you. And then hit the C stick back and got an F smash. Instead, he tries a pointless piv pivot, misses, and then I'm sad that he got re grabbed because S fat didn't double jump away. But you did not, you did not deserve this re grab. You should, you, should, you did not deserve this re grab. You need to stop trying to pivot against Fox. You could have just, re you could have. I would have per personally think uh, the the good 50 50 here if he di's right. Since you see, saw him di right. Okay, so here's the thing. You can mix up up throw and forward throw, and th those are a mix-up tree. Because if you di in the up throw, the forward throw combos, and if you di away, it's still good. So the 50-50 tree here, um, just so you under so Marf players understand. Let me go back again. When you get this grab, the 50-50 game here is you mix up up throw and forward throw. They each have their pros and cons. Uh, forward throw only combos if, you, if Fox di's in. And the best DI for up throw, of course, is to DI onto the stage. Because even if you get comboed, you're still on the stage. Which you're just going to take damage, but you're probably going to live. The worst DI, now, the best DI for up throw, which is behind Marf, it's the worst for Fox if you do forward throw. So that's a true 50-50 Marf has between forward throw and up throw. 
Now, you can just hold down or even put the controller down and not DI at all, and you'd be fine from forward throw. But that's not that bad for Marf because then Fox is still off stage, and then you're playing a guessing game of an, of an edge guard. And even if you, Marf fails to get the edge guard, then Fox has to do a perfect ledge dash back on, and Marf still controls center stage. So it's not the worst, even if you don't get the best outcome. Now, you can also mix up up throw. And around this percent, you could do a bunch of up airs. Like right here, you could have done short help up air into like more up airs or forward airs or tip or F smash. And you can keep mixing up those three key moves between up, up air, forward air, and F smash. There's so many combinations you can use on 50-50s and DI traps and all this stuff you can do to the best DI for one is the worst DI for the other. And the, what you don't want to do is what is this attempt at a pivot F smash where Fox should have double jumped away and the combo should have ended. Please do not tip, uh, pivot up smash, pivot F smash when you're up throwing Fox. You should do that against floaty characters because it's really good against floaty characters. It's not really good against Fox. Thank you, Patter6646 for the sub. And he does normal lead stand and gets re-grabbed. See, it worked there, but you didn't need to take that risk. You, you took a one-frame gamble. You could have literally just walked forward and hit the C-stick, got the F-smash at the same time, and still been fine. He DI'd, uh, the, he DI'd this correctly because he's, he's getting used to the up-throw F-smashes now. But again, you don't have to F-smash. You could short hop, you could F-smash, or you could short hop up air, or you could dash stance forward air. There's like a bunch of different things you can do. Mainly up air, forward air, and F smash. I think are a standard three. I'm always experimenting to find out more ideas. Like there's a, like a weak hit of backer you can do. Like there's different combinations of combos that I'm still experimenting with. I'm I'm, I'm always trying to upgrade myself. Uh, thank you, Seattle 1919 for the sub. Right here, see this is what I was talking about before. You can react to the sound of illusion, right here. Though, I don't know if I would have committed to that big jump because Fox could have easily illusioned under the Marth. You could have aimed under Marth onto the stage, or you could have sweet spotted the ledge with um, an illusion. By the way, Marth's short hop fair, done completely perfectly, can be a perfectly sweet spotted illusion, but it's tricky on both ends. So it's usually who's more perfect. But what I'm saying is, Ford Air is God. You should definitely use Ford Air because it's a godly move. And so you react, you react to the sound of illusion, and you can then you hit the C stick as a response. Or oh, it can be everything. Sometimes I can react when I'm playing my best. I can react with like Marv's forward smash, like spaced so, or at forward tilts and stuff. Uh, thank you, Tact T. Uh, thank you, Tactical Bacon for ta oh my God, Tactic. Thank you, Tactical Bacon for the sub. How could I not get that at first? All right, I guess I'm doing flop versus left and after this set. Now, this miss because you didn't go low enough. Next time you're in a situation, right here, you could have react from this edgehog point. You don't need to rush. You can react to see if he does illusion or not. So I react to the illusion first most of the time. I'll go, sometimes I go for hard reads. But on average, if I'm not sure, I react to illusion because it's, in theory, you can cover everything. So react to illusion. You see you didn't do it. You can beat illusion with an edgehog. Or if they go on stage, you uh, can do a ledge jump back air to cover all of the every possible straight angle from this height, high or low, you can cover them all for backer, like lead shot backer. Oh, thank you, F stock 96 for the sub. So right here, he does this bear, but he misses because he doesn't go low enough. He, he, he just didn't do the bear as good as he could have. You, you could have definitely went lower to scoop him. But the thing is, if you went lower to scoop him, you would have missed the high angle. I actually don't agree with this bear because both the straight Firefox Mixing up the straight Firefox with the, uh, the, the, the angle that's like a higher angle, like one of these angles and that angle, uh, you're not close enough to the Fox to be able to cover both angles. You're not, you were not, after you upbeat to this ledge, um, you were not, uh, well, let me go back. See, after he hits him with the forward air, from here, from this position, there's no way you can get close enough to cover all the angles. So Fox can at least pull a 50-50 on you. And you're risking your whole stage position on a gamble. Now, I'm not saying never do that. I do that sometimes. I, I gamble a lot of 50-50s. But you shouldn't usually do it. I think you could have just done the same thing uh, a little safer. And s notice how S -Fat, since SFAT can't ledge dash on today uh, successfully, the risk for you today would have been better to hold stage because your, your, your opponent can't ledge dash well. 
So the risk reward for t if the fox could let this one better, it'd be a different risk reward. But yeah, and then he side bees and gets transpoked. A lot of foxes like to go top platform after you get hit. It's really safe. Let me see here. Now, this is going to sound crazy, but I think you've, you guys have seen this before. See, after this fair, there, I th I'm not sure. Don't, I'm not sure if you can get a center hit Ken combo. Like, you could do. Um, wait, wait, look at this one more time. Okay, so what you could have done after this fair. Here's the possible options after this fair that would make optimal 50 50s. From, from here, from this moment, See how fo your he fox is floating uh, in there for this period of time? You could mix up a Ken combo. I'm not sure if, if the center hit Ken combo combos at 112. Someone will have to test that for me. He might, fox might go too far. You can make, uh, so the best DI for Ken combo, sorry, the worst DI for Ken combo is up left. But then the best DI, if you were to do aerial dolphin slash, would be up left. So basically what I'm saying is after that fair, you have a 50-50 between up being fox or doing a forward air to fox. He does down air, and the fox should Probably a leads cancel and yeah, that's that's why that's bad, because you after, the fox is gonna land and then traction is gonna push him off the ledge and now fox has no lag and if I was the fox I would have hit Marf back. That downer is bad. No, don't don't do what Zane did. You should definitely mix up uh, either the dolphin slash right here after that hit. You either dolphin slash or you do a Ken combo. Now there's one more advanced thing you can do. You can here. This is the crazy thing that I've been experimenting with lately. This is cut. This can cover every everything. For right here, Marf can do dash forward, then a full hop, jumping reverse bear. Now, if you get the, sometimes you're going to get the tipper bear. And if they DI, no matter how they DI, it's good because it's 13 damage. And if they DI right, then uh, it hits them really hard and they usually die instantly. But if you're e e even better, usually, is if you do that dash forward, full hop, reverse bear, you can get the handle hit, which sends them very little distance. And then you can combo that into either a down air spike, guaranteed combo kill, or another tipper bear. So you basically do run, full hop, and then bear. And if it weak happens to weak hit, then you do either another tipper bear, you know, uh, while while landing, you know, fast fall bear, or you do this, uh, the, you hit them with a down air. So basically, you could either do a jump dolphin slash, b try to ken combo if the center hit, or c full hop bear. And if you see that you got the weak hit, combo into either a down air or a back air. These were all superior options to this. That was bad. You should not do that. SFAT's just getting stuck in movement today. Look at this. He, he tries to, he just shield and then release shield and then doesn't jump out. It, that was a good Dolphin Slash. That actually reached kind of high. I was surprised, I was surprised how high that reached. You don't have to Dolphin Slash, but it's a, it's a DI mix-up. See, that was good. Uh, the Shorthop Fair is really good against... If you're not sure how Fox is going to recover, Shorthop Fair, you can react to everything. And if he did that Fast Fall, you can actually cover above the platform and below the, below the stage. So you can cover from above a platform to below the ground level by doing that. Shine's not guaranteed. You can Fast Fall it. And again, this is a... This is just everybody being scared. This is this looks like both players are just like nervous and doing defensive options. Like he does the shine, and you can beat that by fast falling to the ledge. And what are you doing? What is that? Why would you go for that? You're at six percent, and he has thirty-seven frames invincibility when he touches the ledge. Do you really think this is a good risk, Sfat? What are you doing? Did you not know that Marf can just grab the ledge? If he if he reads the shine? Like, yeah, he has to read that you're going to shine, but then, like, but still, this, this? What is, what are you doing? You, you should die. Look, I would have just ran off and then hit the C-stick backer or the downer and just killed you. I would have killed you. Zane was less confident, so he went back and countered and only covered a really scrubby Firefox option. So you have to do a really bad Firefox option to get hit by that. But then you do. And now you could have illusion to the ledge. Illusion or illusion canceled. Instead, you missed that window, and then you Firefox here. I would have guaranteed a kill. Yeah, you're dead. 
This is this was slop to the next level. Yeah, he definitely did not expect him to grab the ledge. You, you can actually smash the eye this every time. You up throw right here. You just you, you can sma if you know they're gonna do a running up air. The counter to that is you just smash the uh, di right. But everything in this game has like a counter. It's a pretty deep game. Marf is so bad above people. Like <laughs> all he can really do is like an aerial that doesn't linger, and then his feet aren't protected by a shield. It's so it's so bad actually. He has to keep taking gambles that are bad. Yeah, you could have smashed the eye that. Um, what, did you try to? Let's see if you tried to. I guess I made, maybe you. you tr I think you tried to, but maybe you didn't. You just. I think you tried to, but missed it. So that's okay. And then you ledge canceled. If you since you ledge canceled here, you should have just probably jumped away. Like you should have either jumped away or did an aerial right away. Oh, you did an aerial right away, but it missed. Okay, you 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 had to double jump somewhere. Yeah, being being fox being under Marf is really bad. I mean, uh, it's bad for Marth. This is not a combo. This only works when the fox is like, oh, I'm scared of the I'm going to hold in. That's not a thing. That's the, that was the worst recovery ever. Look at, how do you miss the... Uh, of course you're going to get down tilted. So how do you miss the lead so badly? Okay, no. Here's what I would have done. After this counter, so you can get, so after that counter, I think, don't quote me this, I'm not sure Fox has enough time to illusion at 26. So I think most of the time here, I'd probably gamble that he's going to up for sure. And then I'll just dash off the stage and then hold back on the control stick so that I'm falling slowly and away. That way he can't drift into me and Firefox burn me and I can react to all his, op all his options. But if he's at a little higher percent, or I think he has the possibility of uh, illusioning to the ledge. That means he's only barely going to make it, which means the only counter to that is Edge Hog. So I might have Edge Hogged after this and then tried to react to like, Edge Hog and then react to if he's illusions or not. And if he doesn't illusion, then I'll go down and I'll space a side B so that I can hit him and he can't shine spike me and then go back up. Or right here, what Marv could have done is just go a little bit lower and then do a side B. He still had a fresh side B. He wasn't going to dip down with the side B. So you could have went a little lower, side B'd, Either traded, which would pop you back up and you tech, and you're fine. Or you hit him and there's no trade, and you then after you side be here, you double jump up and then you recover. Instead, you did this desperate upbeat. You could have just side beat, guaranteed a kill, then double jumped and upbeat and recovered, and you wouldn't have to waste your stock. You could mash out. See how I did the grab attack every time? When people do grab attacks every time, you could literally mash the stick and get out like below 20. Which is why you don't see me pummel a lot, because it's not guaranteed. It's a gimmick. I don't like relying on gimmicks. It's better just to do keep doing up throws. The pummel is a, a mix up. But it loses hard. It, it loses to mindless mashing. You could just mash and you get out of pummels. He's trying to hard read. This is a slop. What are you F smashing? And S Fat assumed he was going to dash away here, so he F Fat ran past him because he knew he'd run away. He could have did like a up smash or a forward smash right there, but he did a really bad dash attack. Like right here, you could have done like more aerials, like one or two more aerials, or you could have done a mix up between up smash and F smash. Of course, it wouldn't kill because it's Dreamland. I think, as, uh, I think the Marf tried to panic forward air because he assumed that S Fat would just run in a straight line, but S Fat did a wave dash down instead. But then he drifted forward with the affair, so he died for it.
Pummel to throw is a true combo? Wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me you can't mash out around 20? Because I see people do it all the time. With up throw. Wait, wait, you can pummel into up throw, guaranteed? No, I know about the C-stick buffering, but doesn't it only work on like one type of throw? Does it work for every throw? Oh, wait, which throw? I forget. Which throw is it? Yeah, I thought it was only down throw, like Sheik's down throw. I don't think that works on up throw. Yeah, yeah. See, guys, that only works on down throw. You can't buffer up throw. No, yeah. Eh, dude, I would have done that every time. Yeah, that, that's only for down throw, dude. It sucks that it only works on down throw, because if it worked on up throw, then I would do it every time. Yeah, it, it works from up throw, but then you have to be like frame perfect, no buffering every single time. Wait, wait. You, it's a three frame window where you can buffer up throw? I'm a, I, I need to actually, I, I, I'm actually really wanting to lab this later, because that, that could be a game changer. No, I'm not sure what to believe anymore. But now I I actually want to look into this after today. Anyway, back to this. If it's guaranteed, then I take it all back, and I'm about to copy that. That's why it keeps getting him if Darren and then not following up. Interesting. Um, what, let's see. Okay. Cover that covered everything. Okay, that that for, let's see here. Forward air and then that up air covered everything except roll to the right. And then you up air again. And then if you want to cover everything except roll to the left, that down air is good. And now you right here, instead of that up air, I would have done a reverse kin combo. But he just gets two damage here. Yeah, the upper wasn't bad though. Instead of that downer, I probably would have done a, a double jump. Uh, so right here, the optimal thing, right here, most people are gonna di in, and then you try to reverse kin combo. But the upper is not a bad option. Now right here, since he's so high, even if you had to land, I would do like a double jump side B and then combo it into up air forward air based off his DI. Because at, like, at this percent, the side B is going to true combo. You can get a little bit more damage. Now, what he did isn't bad. It's just not the most damage you can get. You can not You can make it slightly better. But it's not that big of a deal. And right here, yeah, that's a... He, he, that's that was DIing for F smash. So he did the forward throw. And then, you know, of course, S fat's still DIing in. Oh, uh, wait. I wonder if you could have did F throw F smash here. I think he could have did F throw tip or F smash, actually. Like you F throw and you wait a bit, and then when he's really low, you F smash. But this is good too, right here, because now you can maybe down air, I guess not. <laughs> Oops. I guess I guess you can't dare there. It wasn't I, I don't blame him for going for it, but he could have ran a bit more on the ground. See, when you run, you you travel faster than you do when you're in the air. So the best way for him to get close enough to down air, you forward air, and when you land, see how he did a little bit of a dash and then jump? He could have done a longer dash and tried to full hop at the very last second. You might have been able to get close enough to get that down air. So basically run a bit more, and then that's the only way you have time to do the down air there. Right there, I probably would have did a shield hop up B. You can jump and up B, and you can sh up B the same frame or the frame before they shine. That's a pretty good mix-up. Like right here, you just, he tried to dash back, but he, he didn't get it out. You shield up B is really good against the downer here. So shield up B if Marf is really good. That's because uh, it's frame 6 out of shield, but you also have invincibility on that frame, and then it lingers. Which is So if the fox is frame perfect and you're frame perfect, you're going to trade with shine. I guess fox could do drill to shield instead, but then you can mix up with shield grab. So it's still 50-50. That's in your favor. So it's it's you're putting Fox in a bad 50-50 scenario by shielding and up being there. Right there, uh, you should have got shot, spiked, and died. 
My Fox, I would have shine spiked you every day of the week if I was the Fox. That's a, like because look, you miss you miss the fair, and then you have like half a second of lingering lag here. You could you could definitely have died for that. And you're just both just spamming smashes. Yeah, there's not much you can do at high percent. Try to swat him out of the air there. Oh yeah, yeah, that's okay. I would have I would have up to it earlier so it tippered, but that's okay. You were, you were confident that it would kill, so that's fine. Platform tech chase. This doesn't that doesn't combo. You could have got down tilted. S fat messed up. S fat could have easily down tilted you and damaged you a lot. That was unfortunate. I, I thought that up tilt would hit actually, but it, it didn't. Those platforms are annoying. Stuff barely hits and barely misses. So that was unfortunate that the up that the up tilt missed. Yeah, Tomahawk grabs really good here because when the fox is above you, see that jump? By doing that jump right here, uh, fox is threatening a back air, but then you can do an unreactable land and grab. So you can't guarantee it. Now he finally does it right. Tech chasing on reaction or guess. That all worked because he DI'd in. This all this all combos if the Marf DI is in, and SFET knows the Marf wants to DI in, so he does all that. That's just Marf being in a bad spot. He, he SFET got him with that trick before. SFET waited with like wave dash down or just waiting for him to swing first, and then he he swung first, and then he got he got him. And SFET missed his dash back. I think he got stuck with I think he got stuck in dashback. That's risky. Dude, it's the same thing Zane always does, does to S Fat and Leffen. He dash stands grabs at the ledge and then they miss a move and then they die. And S Fat tried to jump in right away, even though anything else would have been safer. Here's the autopilot. And then right here, I would have went for a center hit forward air, because right here, the center hit forward air is more guaranteed to hit. Even if you trade, it's fine. But he wants for the up he went for the uppy instead. And then missed. And he did the exact same thing. There was nothing different about that. <laughs> SFAT tried to jab, he missed. He got a dash dance grab, standard recovery, and then he dies. All right, well, those, I, I, as you can see, I'm mainly focusing on the stuff that's like clear. Like neutrals, a lot of like, it's based off what both players are doing. So you have to like study your opponent and know their flow charts and RPS for neutral. So. Instead of doing that, I'm focusing on the stuff that's guaranteed to be fixed. Like you can guarantee better edge guards and better combos and better 50/50s just by understanding the game a little better. So that's why I focused on that this match. Um, well, that ends on this Zane versus um, that ends the Zane set versus Sfet. And I'm gonna run a three-minute commercial break and.